What's up guys, my name is Kyle, we're back today with more Gearbox, and today I want to do one experiment before we actually uh, put our engine onto a car, and I want to work on the timing, because I got a lot of comments in the last video about the timing of my 160 and how it was off, and I kind of understand where people are coming from, and I feel like we should like really talk about it. So, here's the 160 cylinder engine I made, yeah, a really stupid idea, blah blah blah, but I'm kind of still thinking like scrap mechanic, right? So if we think about scrap mechanic the way scrap mechanic works, we physically build pistons that push something, it's not like a combustion engine like in a normal combustion engine the force is coming from up here and it's delivering it through the crank whereas in scrap mechanic we're extending this piston and making it longer and then shorter and then longer and then shorter so it's a little bit different the way the mechanics work and so the timing is a little bit different and i think the way i'm doing the timing here which a lot of people pointed out is more old school like thinking the way scrap mechanic is and not actually thinking about a real engine timing and so i want to do some experiments we're gonna we're not gonna do it on this because there's this is just a silly idea but i want to do some experiments we're gonna just build like a really simple um sort of you know two cylinder engine and we're gonna just try two different configurations of it and i think i think we'll be able to figure out if it's a four stroke engine or a two stroke engine from that configuration all right so i'm going to start and build just a really really basic engine it's not going to take very long at all um and we're just going to do this so we can have a really simple setup that we can compare against and i want to do it with two cylinders instead of four uh and the reason why is again i'm just trying to simplify as much as i can and just trying to eliminate variables and mainly what i'm trying to figure out is two stroke versus four stroke timing i've seen a bunch of people in the comments talk about how the game calculates as a two stroke versus calculating as a four stroke uh, why that matters, we'll talk about it while we build this a little bit, but uh, basically a four-stroke engine, right, has four cycles per per ignition of each cylinder, right? So you've got an initial cycle, which is an intake cycle, and then you pull in a bunch of fuel, and then the uh, compression cycle, where you compress all the fuel, and then you burn the fuel, you explode the fuel, right, and that shoots the piston back down, and then you have an exhaust cycle, right? So it's exhaust, intake, Explo uh, compression explosion repeat the process with a two-stroke you do the same thing but instead of having it in four cycles you have it in only two cycles right so you combine them right and it's it's basically exhaust happens while the explosion happens and kind of it, it's a little bit more complicated than that but essentially as the cylinder goes down there's a little port on it usually and the exhaust gets ported out and then it sucks in gas as it's compressing back up and then it explodes so it happens you know essentially twice as many explosions right um which basically what ends up happening is a two-stroke sort of has more like low end like like low end uh, acceleration a lot, lot more torque uh generally falls apart on the high end and the top speed of things a little bit of personal information here i have two-stroke jet skis and i have four-stroke jet skis not at my house at my parents house i don't have jet skis good lord can you imagine if i had jet skis but anyway i've ridden both two-stroke and four-stroke jet skis uh the four-stroke jet ski is like driving a big suv that's kind of smooth on the road but it doesn't really accelerate nicely uh and the two-stroke jet ski is like driving a rocket ship but uh, it doesn't go nearly as fast on the high end. Anyway, that's my story. Good stuff. Um, so we're going to figure out today if this is a two-stroke or a four-stroke engine, essentially, is what we're trying to do. And my thought is really, really simple on how to figure this out. And I know someone in the comments is probably... I've been getting a lot of people who know a lot more about engines than I do in the comments, which is really, really great. Uh, but my thought is that what we can do is we can play with the timing. And... Essentially, there's two there's two configurations here. So let's put let's put our crank on it. Uh, we need a rear driven and a front axle. Yeah. So whatever. We'll do like this, right? So here's one. So that's on this side done. And then we take the driven one coming out this side. Okay. So here's here's where everyone's gonna get their mind blown, right? Well, not really. You guys are probably just gonna be like, Con, you're you're dumb, and I don't know why you don't understand this. And uh, you know, we already know what you're doing, but it's fine. So we've got our throttle here um whoops let's let's just make some adjustments here so here's our throttle control key f idle rpm whatever i'm actually going to set this idle rpm to a thousand because we can actually just use the idle rpm uh is that right now you know what let's just leave it let's just let's just we'll figure this out we'll figure out a power system later anyway all right so that's that exhaust comes straight out no problem uh these connect up like this right so logically um well, we're pretty much actually good to go. Uh, hold on. No, we're going to extend this block out like so. Let's put another block on this side just to sort of seal the engine off. Um, and then we're going to put a weight on it with a centrifugal clutch, of course. This is where I think we're going to figure out the timing. So logically, you would say if you were doing this engine right the way it is now, you would say, okay, this first cylinder has to fire, right? Because uh, if, if at the top of its stroke, it's either done one of two things. If it's a four stroke, it's either just compressed all its fuel and it's about ready to burn, which means it's going to light the spark and, and shoot the cylinder down. That's one thing it could have done. Or the second thing it's done is it's just exhausted all of the gas, and in which case the next stroke, it's going to like suck down, and as it sucks down, it's going to pull in fuel, right? So the valve up here that exhausts out would have been open, 
and this would have pushed all the exhaust gas out if it's a four stroke. The next stroke, we're gonna suck in fuel, then we're gonna go up and compress, and then we're gonna burn again, right? So if it's a four stroke, it's either the exhaust stroke or it's about to burn, which means this would be firing timing one, or it would be firing timing like three, right? Because if it's on the exhaust stroke, it's three, and if it's not on the exhaust stroke, it's what, this might actually need to be a four cylinder for us to test this. All right, one last thing actually I need, I just realized before we uh, can do anything with this is we actually need a starter because uh, we need to be able to start this engine up. So let's just throw a really quick, uh, can I do like a spur gear three maybe on the back there? Yeah, okay. That's actually really, really good because this is going to give us a limit where we can see exactly how much torque this is putting out. Okay, so this is, this puts out 2.5 kilowatts and 43 newton meters of torque, right? And this is with a 1-2 timing, and the cranks are offset by 180 degrees. Oh, now it's actually spinning the weight up. Let's, uh, let's make this weight bigger. Okay, so 2.4 kilowatts, 43 newton meters. I mean, eventually it'll spin that weight up, we'll go a little bit faster, but there you go, 538 RPM, okay. This still doesn't tell me, though, if this is a 2-stroke or a 4-stroke timing. We'll extend this to 4 cylinders, and we'll be able to tell, but right now this doesn't tell me. However... This is what I want to check, and this is the theory. So that was, let, hold on, let me just make sure we get a good good review on those numbers, make sure they're accurate. 2.443, okay. 2.443 seems to always go to that same spot. So now this is my thought. If we take this axle, and we flip it like that, right? And then we hook it up to this. And then we set these both to have a timing order of one. Is this not, like if this was a two-stroke... They would just go boom, boom. They, I don't know. Does this make it like? Does this make it better? It should make it worse, right? The other thing I want to do is do an offset of ninety degrees. But we need four cylinders for that. There's a couple more configurations because in scrap mechanic we always used to do a ninety degree offset, which I know you don't do in a real life car because good lord, the balancing of that would be insane. Like it's not really a symmetrical crank set setup. I mean, it kind of is, but it isn't. So you won't really do that. But I'm curious if it's better in this game or if it's worse. But we need four anyway. I want to see if this works first because this is like stupid experiment number one. You can hear the difference. See, this is, still doesn't tell me if this is a two-stroke or a four-stroke, though. But now they're both technically firing at the same time. Regardless of if they're a two or a four, they're firing either one every four compressions or one every, or one every four move, four set. Uh, two up and downs, right? Four movements, one up, one down, one up, one down, and then, yeah, anyway, or two movements. But anyway, let's see what this outputs. Exact same, 43 newton meters, 2.4 kilowatts. That's interesting. So it changes the engine noise, but it doesn't actually care about the timing difference between those two. I don't know if that's like true, how that would work in real life or not. I feel like no one would ever make a two cylinder engine with a symmetrical timing. Like you'd never make one where the timings are at the exact same time. But for my own curiosity sake of the, of the game, I wanted to see if this was better or this was worse. Okay, so that's the exact same. So now I think that's actually kind of interesting. That means like we can really, okay, well let's just for stupidity sake, what if I do something like, if I offset it at 90, like, the timing on this would be absolutely messed up now because it's not even, like, 1-2. Now it's, like, 1 and, like... I mean, I guess technically this is 2. Doesn't fire at the same time as this one, but, like, this would be, like, 1, and then this should be, like, 3, and then you should have a 2 that's 180. Anyway, let's see if this does the same, same amount. Now it sounds like it's kind of skipping. That's funny. Exact same amount. That's interesting. So, like, realistically... It doesn't seem to care too much about how we configure the cylinders. Okay, okay, so let's extend this. Let's do a real quick check. Let's just extend this now out. I'm going to move all this stuff. This is, I like this. This is actually really, really good information because now when we're building an engine, like, you know, we can actually kind of make an engine more for how we want it to sound, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Like the one, they, they do make different noises, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, we're gonna extend this. Let's make this four cylinders really, really quickly here. And then uh, and then we're gonna try it again. And I got a couple configurations with the four cylinders that I think, um, yeah, that I think are gonna be interesting. All right, so here we go. We've got the four cylinder configuration, uh, the standard connection, right? Two middle. So let's do the standard timing, like what you would expect. So one in the front, right? And then we'd go two here. And then we'd go uh, four on this one, right? And then we'd go three on this one, right? So it's a standard, if this was a standard four stroke, 
right? Their first one, let's say it's through, as it's in its burning phase, this one's actually in its exhaust phase right now, right? So it's exhausting its gas out. This one's just compressed all its gas and it's about to burn it. So it's going to burn it as it's doing it. One of these is pulling in fuel, which would be this one. So this one actually just pulled in its fuel. It's about to compress it under this one's burn. And then when it compresses it, it burns, which then sends uh, this one down sucking in fuel for its compression stage. And this one would be in the middle of compression while this one's burning and so on and so forth. So that would be a four stroke timing, right? So got to set that up. There we go. So it's typical four stroke. 93 newton meters 5.7 kilowatts okay 93 newton meters 5.7 pretty simple stuff so now the question is this if i take this this should tell me if it's a four stroke or a two stroke if i set this to one and i set both of these to two in the middle right if this was a two stroke that would work because these both are firing at the same time now and these both are firing at the same time now. As these go up, they're sucking in fuel and compressing it. And then they're going to explode and shoot it down and exhaust. And then suck in together and explode. So theoretically, this should generate more power than what we just had if it's a two-stroke timing, right? If it was a four-stroke timing, then the four timings would have made sense. I don't know. I don't know. I'm literally just... It's the exact same. But it sounds different. interesting but it's the same here's the thing too though it's the same output power does it give me the same power curve and how the heck would i know that wait wait there are some script tools hold on a minute script mods there are some engine tools engine tools okay let's add that in interesting uh is there any other tool part behavior graph Use this to visualize power and torque curves of your engines, for example. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Open graph window tab. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my... Wait. Oh, no. I didn't want to freeze that. I can't believe we're... Hold on a minute. This is amazing. Why did I not... Okay, we need a smaller weight now. Oh, my goodness. I didn't... Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, Dev. The Dev made some pretty cool tools. All right, so there's our smaller weight now. So let's try it this time. There we go. It's a pretty linear, linear curve for the two-stroke. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what this... Oh, this engine firing order. Okay. Uh, what, is, what does that do exactly? I don't... Entire engine, incremental 1, 2, 3, in, inline 1, 4, 2, 3, inline 6, cross plane V8, flat plane. Is this just like giving me preset firing orders? That's cool. A flat V12 is... Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh my good. Is this actually how it goes? See, his firing orders tell me it would be a four-stroke, right? But, like, and then this one's three, and this should be two, right? So now... I don't know if the curve's gonna look any different. The engine noise changes. Oh, this one actually does get better into the torque, doesn't it? That almost looks like the same curve though to me, doesn't it? Like... That's so weird. I feel like... I feel like it's... It, it, it doesn't... It doesn't... I don't understand if it's a four-stroke or a two-stroke still. Because, like, it gets the same... I feel like it just gets the same power no matter what. Like, I think, it, I think the dev maybe just calculates based on the number of pistons you have? I don't actually know. All right, well, let's try one last stupid experiment. If we're gonna if we're gonna go all out, we might as well go all out, right? So what if I what if I do honestly like the dumbest possible? Actually, no, I got a couple more configurations. One, what if we do this configuration, right? Do we get the exact same torque? It was like ninety three and something else, right? So let's see if I do this. This like there's no way this gives me this might. These are all gonna be firing order one. It's like a big one cylinder engine at this point, right? 
I'm just honestly trying to understand firing order so we can make the perfect engine. But what I'm learning right now is that it actually doesn't really matter as much as you think it does. As long as you have like the right configuration on the cylinders, seems like you generate similar amounts of torque. Oh my god, that sounds great. It's like a... Did it stall? It sounds like a big tractor engine. I think it's actually going to stall out. That's hilarious. Does it even... Does it even... Wait, what's its idle? I, I never actually checked. Was it still the same... The same... Hold on, we can just freeze this here. Yeah, let's just... Let's just check. Is it the same idle still? 9357. Yeah, it's still the same idle, even though it's a single... And the curve does seem the same. Like, it takes a while to get it going, because it's got to spin the weight up. Actually, no, this one seems like it's got a way steeper curve. Yeah, that, that seems like it got there way faster. This also sounds hilarious. Okay, okay, so that's that's pretty good. So let's do one last check, just out of stupidity's sake, because this is the one I really wanted to check. This is called the old scrap mechanic engine. So, if we offset that by 90, and we offset that by 90, and we offset this by 90, right? This is how we would build a piston engine in scrap mechanic because we need each piston, you know, to push the next set around the uh, around the circle. And then, of course, we would do this just as a one, two, three, and four, right? Just like just like that. There we go. So let's see what this does. Does this make it any better? Still ninety three five seven. And it looks like it's got a similar... A similar curve. Might be a little shallower. The All four firing at the same time seem to be the steepest. This might be a little shallower. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think I've kind of figured out firing order. I love the fact that there's this graph thing, which is super cool. I'm going to have to graph some engine performances. But I'm going to rebuild my inline engine. I'm going to do it in my own time, make it, like, proper, and figure out the firing order. And then we're going to start working on slapping it in a car, for sure. Because we need to put a transmission on it and that kind of thing. Um, but I did have so many comments in my last video about the 160 and how I did the firing order in that. And how it was all... It was essentially this. It was sequential, right, as I went through. And, uh... Yeah, I guess uh, I guess it didn't actually matter. I think I did it right, to be honest. Based on this, it seems like the power curves are relatively similar. The engine noise definitely changes, which is cool. So we can play around with that, depending on how the piston firing order goes. And uh, it seems like... If I, as long as I have the order, I don't know. I don't know. I, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure you guys have done some more experiments with this as well. Uh, I'm going to try and make them like typical four-stroke car engines because I feel like that's kind of what the dev intended, especially based on that firing order graph that he had there. I feel like it, they're supposed to be four-stroke engines. I still don't really know if they fire as two-strokes or four-strokes because to me, they seem to generate the same amount of power. Um, the only difference is the one that was all four firing at the same time, the tractor engine, that one seemed to accelerate really quickly. So maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's something something to look into. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit those buttons. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you all next time.